Hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well. So as you probably saw by the title of this video, today I am finally filming an Ask Deborah Anything video and this has been really, really requested and I haven't filmed one in like eight months, I'd say, and it's crazy, but I'm finally getting to it. So for those of you guys that are new in my audience or if you're just watching my videos for the very first time, Ask Deborah Anything is a kind of series that I have been doing since I started my channel like two years ago I've been doing this and it's basically that I have an ask.fm account it's called ask.fm slash ask Deborah anything um, I'll have the link down below just in case you guys want to go ask me some questions basically I have that account and you guys can ask me advice related type questions anonymously through that account and I make videos kind of giving you guys advice on life topics and anything really that you guys need advice on these are kind of my favorite kind of videos to film just because I feel like it's my way of giving back to you guys and kind of helping you guys in the same way that you guys help me and you guys support me and watch my videos and send me lots of sweet comments so this is kind of my way of giving back to you guys and kind of talking to you guys and being kind of more personal if that makes sense. As always I'm gonna kind of disclaim that I'm not an expert at giving advice I'm just a girl in my room giving advice to you guys, trying to help you, so I'm not an expert. With that being said, I choose about three or four questions per video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with this one. Let's do it. Okay, so the first question I'm gonna read, and by the way, this is the very first time I'm reading all of these questions. I've had no time to think about my answers, so the advice that I'm giving to you comes straight from my heart. It comes right off the top of my mind. It's what I would do, and I haven't really thought a lot about it, so it's kind of honest advice. Anyways, the first question that I have is actually from a guy, which is a little bit different because my audience is mainly girls. Anyways, the question says, Hello, I'm a very shy guy that has a bit of a complex of height, and I would like to get to know this girl, but I don't know if we met in person that she would be taller. I'm 5'5 five five or 5'6. Five How would it be a good way to start a conversation without being creepy or weird and to know about her height? Okay. So what I would tell you is to not even worry about your height, honestly. Most girls don't really care and I feel like the best way you can talk to this girl is to just talk to her and forget about your height, forget about her height. It's honestly not even a big deal and if you end up kind of hitting it off and you get along really well, your height won't even matter. I mean, just imagine that this girl is your soulmate or the love of your life and you don't talk to her just because you're afraid that she's taller than you. Honestly, height is not going to be an issue at all if you get along really well with this girl and she's not going to mind as long as you don't mind, honestly. So you're worrying about nothing. Just go and talk to the girl. I'm sure she's going to love you and it's going to be fine. Don't worry about your height. It's not a big deal at all, I promise. And you're not even, like, you're not short. 5'6 is not short. You're fine. Trust me. So, good luck to you, and I really want to know what happened, so make sure you go over to my ask box and tell me what happened. Did you talk to this girl? I want to know. Okay, so the next question I'm going to be answering says, I am 15 and I haven't kissed a boy yet. Is this bad? I just don't like anyone and it just didn't happen. Okay. I didn't have my first kiss until I was 15 as well it's like it's not a big deal honestly if you haven't found anyone I admire you props to you if you don't feel comfortable with someone don't feel like you have to do any physical things just because your friends are doing them or just because people around you are kind of pressuring you to fit in if that makes sense it's honestly not a big deal if you're waiting for the right person it's gonna be so much better trust me so don't feel pressured that you have to kiss someone just to get it out of the way because honestly if you wait for someone that's right it's gonna make the experience so much better between you and I honestly everybody's first kisses usually suck if you end up kissing some lame guy from your grade just because you want to get it out of the way your first kiss is probably gonna suck so it's better to wait and then be able to brag to everyone about how amazing your first kiss was trust me you're fine. Don't pressure yourself, honestly. Don't feel like you ever, and this goes for anything in life, don't ever feel like you have to do things just because everybody else around you is doing it as your older sister because that's what I feel like to you guys. I feel like I'm your older sister at times. Honestly, just don't. Don't do things just because everybody else is doing them. Do it only if it feels right to you and when it feels right to you and forget about what everybody else says. It won't even matter in a few years anyways. Okay, so the next question I chose I actually got a few times and the basic question is 
how do you know a boy likes you? How do you know a guy likes you? What are some hints that a guy likes you? So basically everybody wants to know how you know when a guy likes you. I feel like this question is kind of complicated to answer just because all guys are different and everybody kind of reacts to different situations in different ways. So not every single guy is going to act the same way if they like you. The basic kind of hints to look for though I feel like is if one, the guy kind of pays special attention to you and he goes out of his way to kind of see you and sit next to you or go where you're going with your friends, I feel like that's the biggest clue. Like if a guy makes a lot of effort to see you, then he probably likes you. Um, and also kind of pay attention to how he treats other girls, I feel like. If he treats every other girl the same way he treats you, like if he's flirty with other girls as well, then it's probably kind of his personality, but if it's only with you and he kind of touches you a lot and tries really hard to be around you and he flirts with you an extra lot, then I feel like he must kind of have at least a little crush on you. Also pay attention to how he talks to you. If he kind of tones down like his character, like if he's really like rude and vulgar around his friends and all of a sudden like next to you he'll soften down and he'll talk about like his problems or about life or about things that he usually doesn't talk about with his friends and he probably feels a special connection to you and he probably kind of does have a crush on you. Those are the kind of universal hints I feel like that I can tell you guys. If he's extra nice to you and goes out of his way to make you feel comfortable and goes out of his way to see you outside of school for example, then you should probably double check on that because he probably does have a crush on you. Anyways, I think that's kind of the basic hints I can tell you guys and I'm going to move on to the next question because honestly I talk a lot and if I stay on one question this video is going to be 200 hours long. Okay, so this next question that I'm going to be answering I've actually filmed about three times. This is my third try at answering it because it is a sensitive topic but it's no less important than everything else we've been talking about if not even more important. Anyways, I'm gonna read you guys the question. So the question says, I have a friend who's self-harming and I want to help her but I don't know how to. It is a very sensitive topic and I feel like I'm definitely not in the position to tell you what to do. The best I can do is help you, kind of point you in the right direction and tell you what I would do. So the most important thing I feel like you have to do right now or what I would do is you need to make your friend feel comfortable and help her open up to you and talk about what's bothering her or if she's hurting in some way. Make her feel comfortable and ask her about how she's feeling and about if she's doing okay and help her feel comfortable so she can open up to you and feel comfortable enough to ask for help if she needs it, if that makes sense. And also I feel like the most important piece of advice that I can give you right now is if you ever feel like your friend's life may be in danger and Again, this is a topic that a lot of times is taken lightly and it bothers me because it shouldn't be at all. It shouldn't be taboo. We should talk about these kind of things because people that are self-harming are in pain and they need help and they need to be able to open up and ask for that help and feel safe and talk about whatever hurt they may be feeling. So I feel like it's definitely not a light topic. If your friend is self-harming, she could be putting her life in danger and you definitely need to ask for help for her if she's not able to ask for help herself. Um, so talk to your parents or your school psychologist or a counselor, basically an adult that has the power to help. Even if you feel like your friend may be mad at you for talking to someone about it, if it is an adult that has the power to help, so someone that can help, you definitely should and you should kind of forget that worry of like your friend being mad at you because you could potentially save her life and I'm 100% serious, that is how serious this topic is to me. I study psychology, it's something that's very dear to my heart, the subject of mental illness, it definitely needs to be more open in society. I'm not going to get more into that topic because I will ramble for 15 minutes, so that's basically all I have to say about this question. I really do hope the best to you and to your friend and if you need any other advice on anything else don't be afraid to talk to me through my ask or through Facebook or Instagram anywhere or even in the comments. Also if any of you are feeling like you need to talk to someone about anything whatsoever I'm also here for you guys. Again I feel like I'm your big sister a lot of times and it really does. It makes me really happy that I can help you guys so 
I'm here for you. Okay, so I feel like this video is getting extremely long, so I'm just going to choose my last question. And my last question says, Hi Deborah, I'm 14, and last year I was in 7th grade. I had a crush on this guy, but later that year we dated and it was amazing, but then he dumped me. And ever since then I've been heartbroken. Me and him are best friends, and still are, but it's hard to hear about his girlfriend all the time. And I still love him, what do I do? Okay, so... Basically, you had a crush on this guy, you ended up dating, he was your best friend, but then you broke up and you're still really close to him and he has a new girlfriend and it's really hard for you to hear him talk about her. My advice to you would be to kind of, and I know it may be really hard, but if you do want to heal from like having a broken heart after him having broken up with you, the best thing you can do is kind of distance yourself from him. I feel like it's really hard to be friends with someone that you still love, especially if the person doesn't feel the same way about you. It's going to be really hard for you to heal if you're still friends with him and if you have to hear him talk about his current girlfriends. So even though it may be hard and you do truly care about him, I think the best thing for you to do is kind of distance yourself from him and maybe after a few months have gone by and you heal, you can go back to being friends with him. But I feel like he should definitely understand where you're coming from so I wouldn't worry about how he's going to react to it because you do have to take care of yourself. I mean, I feel like that's what I would do. I know I couldn't heal unless I kind of stopped being too close to him for a little bit until at least like you heal. So I hope that answer was helpful and I wish the best of luck to you. And again, also I want to know what happened. So make sure you update me on what's going on in your life and how it went. So like I said, that was my last question for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and you enjoy my Ask Deborah Anything videos because like I said, I really love making these. I feel like I can give back to you guys and thank you for everything that you do for me. It truly makes me feel really special and honored that I can help you guys in some way. If you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to leave me a thumbs up down below so I know that you do. I really hope this advice not only helps the people that I answer to, but also all of you because I truly do want you guys to all lead happy and healthy lives in every sense of the way of the word. I can't talk. I'm just gonna go. I send a million kisses your way. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. I wanted to kind of do a makeup look that combined both winter and spring. So I guess I'm kind of calling it a makeup to transition between winter and spring 